And hi again everybody out there, Mark Mannering here from Class Training with another 3 Minute Thursday. Three tips in three minutes more or less. This one might just go slightly longer because it's very important. I'm going to pose and answer the question to you about how you uh, manage your uh, tasks, how you create your tasks, your to-dos, your activities, even your projects and especially how you work with others in your organization, assigning those tasks to others as well. I'm going to suggest three methods, not in this particular order, um, but uh, and I'll be using the same sort of example to show you the different options for managing those tasks, to-dos and so on that you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis. The first one, although again not in this particular order, is just to use Outlook. As you might know, you can assign tasks to people in Outlook. The second one is uh, using the great task planner that's in Microsoft Teams for small projects, mini projects, and so on. And the third one, if you need full-blown project management, resource management, costings, and so on, you can use Microsoft Project. Okay, so here's the first uh, option, and that's to use the Outlook's task list. Here's my task list. And what I'm doing is managing the activities and tasks for a very simple project. In this case, it's just how to build a cubby house. And what I've done is I've created a category called cubby house. You can use categories in Outlook to group your tasks together a lot more easily and organize them better. You can see there the list of the activities uh, involved in building this little cubby house. I've got the due date there. And I've also assigned the task to my external contractors. I've also got a couple of things assigned to me as well. So a great way to use your task list to um, manage these simple projects. When your uh, colleagues or even external contractors and so on are assigned those particular tasks in Outlook, they will receive an email to indicate they've been allocated and they can accept or decline. Now, here's my Microsoft Teams as the second way that you can manage your tasks. And I've created a team called Project Cubby House on the left there. And one of the channels is Schedule of Tasks. And on the right hand side, I'm using the so-called Tasks Planner, used to be called the Project Planner, to manage the different phases of the project. You can see the different tasks within each phase. And you can also see, apart from the dates, uh, that they're due. Um, you can see the uh, allocated uh, resources, the architect, the builders, and so on. This view was called the board, but I can get a list of the tasks just by clicking list there. I can look at the charts uh, to see how things are going and how things are progressing. And there's also a like a timeline or schedule um, showing you what's happening as well. And finally, if you wanted full-blown project management with the Gantt chart being shown and resource management and costings, you would use Microsoft Project. Here's the project version of my cubby house with the Gantt chart on the right there and the resources being shown. My resource sheet is set up here with view resource sheet and I've got the email address set up so I can email updates to the particular resources and get the costings and so on. And there you go, people, just a very quick overview this time around of the three options you have for managing your tasks and projects and so on. There might be others, so let me know what else you might be using. Uh, we run sessions on all these three, so let me know what might be relevant and how we can help out. Check the website links here and uh, we can help out as much as we can, as always. Mark Mannering signing off. Thanks a lot. Bye.